My gosh, we have learned so much already in this show, have we not? Uh, I am so honored to be here, and I cannot get the phrase second brain from the ass end out of my mind. Um, which I always call a penis, I'm not sure what it is. Um, second brain from the ass end. That's going somewhere. Um, that's really funny. So, they asked me to do this show, the Encyclopedia guys, they hit me up and they said, we want you to do an Encyclopedia show. Uh, and I was like, that sounds great. I don't normally get excited about doing shows that encourage this much booing. Um, that's scary for a comedian. Um, so be gentle. And uh, <laughs> um, I promise I won't say the word institution other than this once. And, uh, oh jeez. I retire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I No, yeah, they asked me to do the show, and that, I said, yes, I would love to. What topic do you want me to do? And they said, dinosaurs. I said, oh, <laughs> okay, that sounds great. They said, what kind of topic about dinosaurs do you want to do? And I said, give me the most modern topic to do with dinosaurs that you can. And they said, Flintstones. And I said, yes, because they're the modern Stone Age family, so that counts. I can't actually argue with that. And um, <laughs> I figured, uh, you guys watch the Flintstones? Yeah! Me neither. And uh, <laughs> I, I watched a lot of the Flintstones. I figured the best way to do a good show for you guys was to watch uh, my weight in Flintstones. And uh, I watched a lot of Flintstones episodes and I discovered, oh wow, wow, all right. So that's Fred. I'm just kidding. I know their names. And um, <laughs> I watched a lot of Flintstones. Wait, why has Wilmo got black hair? That's weird. She's a redhead. She got a do. She got a do? Anyway, I'm sorry. That's very strange. Uh, it threw me off. Inaccurate, sir. Are you logging that? Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, don't talk again. I'm just kidding. Uh, so I figured uh, the best thing to do would be to watch a lot of Flintstones episodes, and I discovered something that really, really bothered me about the Flintstones. That's right, I have a logical, factual gripe with a fictional cartoon show from the 60s. Here we go. Uh, here's my thing about the Flintstones. It's the modern Stone Age family, so they have a lot of items in the Flintstones that are quote-unquote modern that you really wouldn't see in the Stone Age, like patterned clothing. Pattern clothing. They have property lines in the Flintstones. Not only do they have property lines, they have goatees. There are goatees in the Flintstones, which leads me to believe that there are razors and shaving equipment, but, but anyway, <laughs> this really bothers me. So there's all of these items in the Flintstones that you really wouldn't see in the Stone Age, but then, in the name of being historically accurate, they don't have a lot of things in the Flintstones, like paper. <laughs> they don't have newspaper, they have news tablets. They don't have stairs, they have dinosaurs that are shaped like stairs. <laughs> and my least favorite thing that they don't have, that I wish they would have, that I just can't get over, is the goddamn shoes. Where are the shoes? They have cars, but they don't have shoes? They have no shoes, and they power the car with their bare ass feet from the ass end, I assume. <laughs> that is so funny. And <laughs> I just don't get it. It really bothers me. I know it's a cartoon. I'm not gonna get over it. Cause it, like, you, if you say that you're a modern family, and then you, you know, don't have certain things, how can you justify historically having televisions? Because they did. How do you do that? They have televisions and telephones, and other tele-things in the Flintstones, and they don't have shoes. They make them run around on their bare feet. And how are you gonna make a show with television and telephones and not give them an engine? Anyway, I'm sorry, this makes me very mad. I have nothing else, I'm very upset. <laughs> I'm filing a complaint with a show that's been off the air for 50 years, and uh, <laughs> So yeah, I have said about the Flintstones, and the, I mean, you know, but like they said earlier, four weeks to prepare for a comedian, that's like seven years. So obviously I did nothing. And, um, <laughs> to prepare. 
I was thinking about Flintstones a lot, and um, I kept coming back to this thing about Bam Bam. I had a boyfriend in high school who we all nicknamed Bam Bam, which is why I hate my life. And uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I thought about I can't. It's hard to come up with Flintstones material, but I did come up with um, this caveman thing. I had this thought about the cavemen because I guess they were cavemen, even though they bowl and shit. Um, <laughs> they bowl. Do you guys know about the paleo diet? Yes. So, anybody that can help me here, the paleo diet is the diet where you only eat what the caveman ate. Is that correct? Yes. Um, I guess that the reason behind that is that when you only eat what the caveman eat, you only suffer from what the cavemen suffer from. And I kind of had to stop and think about where that came from, how that came to be. And the only thing I can think of is that there's just some sloppy pothead watching TV, <laughs> feeling sick <laughs> after eating a bunch of nachos. Jalapenos, drinking coffee, and a Prilosec OTC commercial comes on. And they're just sitting there burping up their food like, I bet the cavemen didn't suffer from acid reflux disease. Which I'm sure they didn't, because like, yeah, the cavemen, they invented the wheel, but did they know about the tomato? 